One equal man said the evils are the major problem of Nigeria. Nigeria doesn't have any other problem aside the evils. Go left, go right, go front, go back. You will see the giants facing you. The problem facing you, they are the evils. Nigeria does not have the problem of subsidy, problem of ending bad governance, problem of insecurity, or problem of hardship. No problem. That one is not an issue compared to the problem he was giving to Nigeria. That is what this equity man said. I am quoting him verbatim. We will want to give this equity man the opportunity to explain to the world where and how the evils are the problem of Nigeria. Let's hear from him. The evils, they decided just to cause problem in the country. What is the problem? The problem I'm telling you is because they know, they know the truth. Since all this way, they have been trying to cause problem, but no problem, no problem, and uh, everybody knows what they are doing. If you watch here, we are, I'm from River State, I'm from Ikwe. We are here in our business place, everywhere is open, everybody is doing well, all the shop here is open. But if you go to their own side of shops, everywhere has been locked by them. They know what they are doing. This meeting has been done by them, they know. They know what they are doing. They are trying to sabotage the government of Ahmed Bola Tinibu. But no problem. The man from River State said you are a troublemaker. You are fermenting trouble in Nigeria because you choose to close your shop. That closing your own shop is tantamount to sabotaging Tinibu government. You are a sabo. Sabo Tike. The shop I use my own money. The shop you use your own money to rent. The shop you use your own money to buy. You decided to close the shop to do your own peaceful protest because you don't want to march on the street. The Ukraine man said, you are sabotaging Tinubu government. You are a saboteur and you are a problem that people should go after and not the hardship or reverting back to subsidy. Um, how is that concern? People are not coming out. The shops are locked up. That's what I'm telling you. Five percent of shops. That's what I'm telling you. As I'm coming out now this morning from my house, all the whole Igbo shop, plumbing material, building material, every other thing has been locked. They did that meeting and they have been. They caught them. Now everybody should lock down their shop. Now let me tell you. See what is going on in Imo State now. They told us it's a peaceful protest, but today what I see is not a peaceful protest. They have, they have been killing police people in Nemo states, shooting at people. Is that a peaceful protest? The answer is no. So all these things that they are doing, they should stop it because we know. We know what their plan is all about. What they are doing today is the same thing that they did before. This one is Biafra something. So we will say we are reverse people. We cannot allow such thing to happen. It's not that what is going on in this country that will like it. But the way they are doing it today is look as if this thing is one size something. Concerning Igbo and the Yoruba and the other test them. No. That's why they will tell us the truth. Are you hearing me? What the Igbo is doing, they are trying to cause problems in the country. But I, I pray, let this not happen. See, we everybody now, they are in a busy place, doing business. Go to all their shops, everywhere is locked. What is, what is the reason? Because they are nice, come out to pay the Igbo's will not join the police. Yes, they say so. They say so. They say so. Now they have locked down everywhere. It's just like me. I'm happy that Nigeria should do a peaceful protest. Are you hearing me? But why are they behaving like this? Go to the shop now. Now I wanted to buy WC now. I can't buy WC. They said they are uh, in a peaceful protest. What is peaceful protest? Why are they killing police? Killing Navy people? Killing our men? Is that right? And they are telling plus rubbish. No, so they should call them in order. This is a beer from 13. This is not how it's supposed to be. Thank you. What did this river state man said is actually his problem with Igbo man? Because they closed their shops. They closed their shops during protest. They did a meeting, peaceful meeting, that they will not open. Okay, now I understand where the problem is coming from. I think the whole thing is clear now. I understand. Okay, okay, okay. The problem is latrine, the toilet. Because I, I was hearing WC. What is WC? Is it not toilet? He want to buy WC in the shop of an Igbo man or Igbo people. The line. They close all the line where they sell their, their things, their goods. He wants to buy WC only for them to tell them that they cannot open because they are protesting peacefully in their houses. And because of that, this equator man, this river state man said, the evils are the major problem of Nigeria. And they are, sabo they are sabotaging Tinubu government for not opening their shops, for not protesting on the streets, and for not causing problem, for not going on the streets to destroy people's property.
They are the problem of Nigeria. You want to buy toilets. Because he was shocked, he did not open for you to buy your latrine. You now come out in, in public to tell people that Ndibu are the problem of Nigeria. This is the narrative they keep pushing. This is what they keep selling to people. And some people are buying it. Ibo man is the problem. Ibo man is the problem. They ask you for proof and evidence, and this is what you can provide. Must you buy like rain? Must you buy toilet in the shop of Ibo man? You did not see another shop. Sorry, we are not selling. Sorry, I'll give you credit. We are not selling. We will not sell like rain for you. Go to another shop and buy. Now, by force to sell, I said that I want to close my shop. This shop, you did not give me money to open the shop. You didn't give me money to rent the shop. You didn't give me money to buy the shop. You did not give me money to put goods in the shop. My own money. Ego. My hard earned money. I used to open shop, rent a shop, buy a shop, put goods. And I decide to close it. Maybe I want to stay at home and rest. Even if I say I want to protest. I, I just want to protest in my house. And you carry my microphone in public. Telling the whole world to whom it may concern. That the divorce. Nobody should talk about any bad governance. Nobody should be pointing fingers at uh, Tinubu or Asorok because these people are not the problem of Nigeria. The major problem of Nigeria is the man in his house that said he will not protest because he don't want to go on the street. He will stay in his house and be eating chicken and cow meat. He will stay in his house with pepper soup and uh, maybe beer to wash it down. He will stay, sit down in his house. He will not protest. This is his own form of protest. You a river state man carry microphone to tell the world that he is the major problem of Nigeria. They should leave the Boko Haram insecurity in the north and the kidnappers everywhere. And they should face man, an innocent person that stay in his house to eat white rice with pepper soup. That is what Ikwere man is saying. Oga, you see this latrine you want to buy. Okay, now I get it again. You feel Ikwere man shop is the best place where you can buy latrine. If, it is, if that is the case. You will start using bush. Here we don't see your hair. Here now, what? Here now, what? Just take the agents your hair. We will not sell. I wish it's only you more people selling this WZ anyway. Our people love money. They will definitely sell for you, no matter what you say to them. If not, we, nobody will sell this WC. Enter bush. Go and use bush. People are doing it. You are not going to be an exception. I attend open one. I attend opposite only you go there. I I. Me a tell you of your money, ya tell do go na follow me. Oh, your money is going to go. Go you go there. I pay kapwa. my brother. I pay kapwa. Those people, what I go there and again? They tried hada. I pay kapwa. Go you go there. Okay, brother. Since the problem is that, because you wanted to buy your toilet, and I believe because if you ask him now, ask him why is he angry. Oga, oh, explain to us why you are angry. Even the interviewer, the person interviewing this man, he was asking him, I don't understand how you say these people are your problem. How are they the problem? How are they causing problem in Nigeria? That they willingly said, or they, because it's a personal decision, they said they don't want to, they decided to close their shops, go back to their houses. If the rent of that shop expires, whether they open the shop or not, they will still renew their rent. Whether they sell their goods or not, it doesn't matter. They will still pay their bills. Abi, it is the man wahala, not your wahala. This is this man's decision. Let's even say this man is not feeling fine. He's sick and he wants to have a sick break. He wants to sit down in his house for one month and rest. Relax his mind. Will you still come out and say that he is the problem because he did not sell toilets to you? The interviewer was asking him, how do you say this people are the problem? Just give me reasons. Because I believe even the interviewer was kind of shocked. From the way he was sounding, now explain to me how are they the problem because they closed their shops. He said, Look at it now, everybody open shop. You do not see all these places, everybody's shop is open everywhere. If you go to their line, all of them closed their shop. They did meeting. This thing is what they unanimously agreed so that they will not do, do me open their shop. And now that I, I just see me now, see me that you want to enter their shop to buy toilet, I couldn't buy it again. Why you want to buy them? Because he will, they will sell to him. Cheaper at a cheaper price because Igbo man, a goose of 300,000, Igbo man can use 2,000 naira or even 1,500 naira 
to sell that goods. Even man don't use too much profit to sell these goods. On a happen wa hair yaka, pido yaka. I don't make you two hundred. This goose is three hundred thousand. I will use seven thousand. What is seven thousand? I will use fifty thousand naira to sell this goose of three thousand, three hundred thousand. I will even use two hundred thousand. If one man is not like that, they can use one thousand two hundred to sell goose of three hundred thousand. That is why you see them progressing in business. In trade, don't get your man. If one man understand business, just he want to do return of investments. Let me be going and be coming. Not just buying 300,000 naira goods or my, the goods in your shop is over 200 million naira. You want to gain 1 billion naira. The goods will stay there and even expire. Igbo person know, know they behave like that. They don't have that mindset or mentality. They feel you too naira to sell the goods. They just want to be going to China and Japan going and coming. And now, I now, I Because check how many millions each way when buy here. And you use 200 naira to sell it. Before you know what is happening, everywhere will be money because I believe that our people are not overpressing my people, please. I don't want you to always say, oh, this one is as if you are protecting your tribe. No. This, I just want to, I don't want people, I don't want them to be pushing this narrative and making the world believe that these people have problems. We are not perfect. We have our own problem or our own shortcomings. But then, when you start saying irrelevant things, when you start putting irrelevant things in the picture as part of the problem of Undimu, I start seeing you as the major problem. I see you as worse than Boko Haram. Because if they ask you, how do you say this people are the problem? You say because they closed their shop. That means you are the problem, not them. We are not perfect. But I am here so that they will not be painting these pictures in the head of our children. Anywhere they see themselves, you people are the problem. Your father is the problem. Your mother is the problem. They did. No, we will always come here to tell people the truth about my tribe. You can do that to your own tribe. Too. It's your choice and your decision. But you cannot be painting the evils and the evil that have suffered. You know, get tribe where so far reach us. We have suffered. After we, like we are talking about Yoruba and I was like, you, you get it, our close neighbor. Our close neighbor. And if I look very well, your name might be Chukuma. If I look very well, your name might even be Ugonna. But you say, you, those people, you, let me tell you something. This brother from River State. When the chiefs are down, right? You see that house in Yoruba and Fulani, not just them. Every other tribe outside the country, they see you as a typical Igbo man. If they say they are looking for people they want to chase away, they want to do this or that, you come and, no, I'm not Igbo, I am Igwene. Please don't, don't hurt me, don't hurt me, I am I'm from Igwene. No, I'm Igbo, Fiawa. Fiawa, what am I doing with those people? They, so what is your name? My name is Ugonna. Ugonna, Ugonna, Chukuma. What is the name of your father? Is Ikenna. What of the name of your baby? The new baby you just had uh, is, is Adana. But what is what? No, I'm not evil. I'm not evil. There is a way they call it that thing. You will not understand the history behind this weekend and Adana. We are answering. You cannot understand. Before you know, they will say you are evil. I'm talking to this river statesman. You are saying, hey, we are river states. These people, hey, they are not from us. You, 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 you are pushing. It. Look, listen. I'm not telling. I'm not here to say he's evil. No, he's not. He's incredible, and that is who he is. He's from River State and that is who he is. But all I'm saying is, when Wahala starts, that person went there for not. Once you he see your face, is that you, 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 is you that not be me, not be me, not be me. They ask you your name. He doesn't even need to ask you your name, your face alone. Oh, but they give one hand. So you saying that the problem of Nigeria and the was and we wanted to know. Where and how we are the problem, so that because when you know that you have a problem, you can easily solve the problem or proper solutions to the problem. I was very anxious to know why he said the evils are the problem because I want to know where we have lapses so that we can start solving it. And this is all I could deduct or hear from what the man is saying. These are the things the problem is listed just because of that same protest, like this protest, like I don't get it. They closed their shop. Now, let me tell this Ukraine man. Oga, no be today, this problem starts. It has started many years ago. And I'm happy you made reference of Biafra and other things. The matter, it passes you. This particular matter is bigger than you. Do you understand? Now, I don't know who is feeding you with what you are hearing or what you are consuming. Or what you are busy swallowing, I don't know who is feeding you all this type of, you know, words 
that made you to feel we are the problem because of all this kind inconsequential reasons. But all I'm telling you today, Mr. River Statement, when it is time to start separating the chaff from the wheat, that evil that you publicly denigrated, those people, those people you might want to pinch your tent with, they will push you to the evil states. They will push you. Even if you tell them you are not from evil, you are not evil, they will still push you there. And you know what? As at that time, you will have no other option left. It's either you go to where the few you belong to, or a believe it's the one another. The choice is yours. And let me tell the public, the evils are not the problem of Nigeria. You and I, you watching me, you know the problem of Nigeria. And the day they are ready to solve the problem of Nigeria, we will not be here discussing this topic. Everybody must be, might just be enjoying it in their different regions. I rest my case for now. Thank you for watching.